Welcome everybody to Cup with Gup on this Thursday, September 30th. A little cooler and wet Thursday here in Norman, Oklahoma. We are going to give a little PGA update, ownership review, talk about tonight's Thursday night showdown between the Jaguars and the Bengals, give out some monkey knife fight plays for that, and then wrap it up. The coin flip will be out later on this afternoon. And then Ryan and I, main slate breakdown will be out late tonight or early Friday morning. Use the code CUP for 15% off any package right now. That includes a seven-day free trial, risk-free. If you don't like us in seven days, you can cancel and get no charge. We have added a ton of NFL tools, stats. Um, the lineup optimizer, our green machine is as good as it's ever been. All of it is looking really, really good right now. It's a great time to come check us out. We got college football tonight, NFL tonight, NASCAR this weekend, college football tomorrow night, college football Saturday, UFC, NFL, PGA is now back on regular week two of the 2021 and 2022 season just started a little while ago. So tons going on right now. Come give us a try. Rate and review us on iTunes if you haven't already. That goes a long way in helping us. And I also pick out winners on our big giveaways around the big events from people that have done that and have also subscribed to the YouTube channel. Go ahead and like this video and tell me your favorite captain play tonight. And I will have some giveaways on the coin flip and then the um, anybody that gets in late on this one, I'll roll it over till next week uh, when I do more weekly giveaways. Underdog right now, download the app, Underdog, the best best ball app out there. Deposit 10 bucks, get a free 10 bucks with the code GUP. They just dropped their resurrection best balls. It is week six through 17. $10 to enter. Only 11,200 spots, 100K in prizes. Deposit that $10, you get a free $10, you get two entries right into the, the resurrection best ball that runs week six through 17. We already have guys in the... GC Warrior Room, who have started drafting. So you can get in there and uh, talk shop with them. Uh, if you maybe didn't know what best ball was and just learned, or maybe your best ball teams have been depleted by injuries, this gives you a reboot with up to 100000 in total prizes out there. They are doing NBA and NHL best balls as well. And then tonight, there's a Thursday night rumble, $10 to enter, 50 k in prizes, 10 k to first, only 5.7 thousand total entries. So... If you don't want to do a best ball, you can use that free 10 bucks to enter the Thursday, Thursday night rumble as well. That has 50,000 in prizes, uh, pretty good little contest. They got going there. Sanderson farms update ownership review. Um, really wasn't too bad. There was a uh, 83.1 R squared, which for the fall swings, pretty good. I, I, I strive for about 85%. Um, normal full season and not that the fall swing or any of that matters it more it's more of who's playing who's paying attention all that kind of stuff um when more eyes are glued in i try to shoot for 90 percent, but i'll take 83 percent. my top 50 projected was 77.4 which i i'd strive for 80 there um so that's pretty solid here in a fall swing event biggest misses for me was zalatoris he he just continues i just i made another note like quit going light on him. He, I feel like not many people talk about him, but he continues to always be up there popular. I thought Burns, which I had Burns almost nailed, 18 to 19%. Um, I was 0.9 off. I thought he would just be much more higher than Willie Z and that the total ownership up there would be around that 33, 34%. And then people would drop down. Um, Norlander, I was way higher on. I felt like I heard his name all over the place. Read him in a couple picks that people had um and then Ramey was a lot more popular than I ever thought he would be uh I had him four percent he was 11 um so you know a few misses on the lower these uh corn fairy guys that are getting talked up much more than they would have two years ago uh that kind of stuff also adds to the difficulty in projecting but um top four guys I was almost dead on you know Hoffman at 24.5, he was 24.1. Connors within 0.14%, uh, 21%. Mito right there, he was about a percent higher than I had. And Sung Jay, I had 20.3, he was 19.7. So, in you know, the way that everything flow, um, 
fail, it wasn't too bad. Um, no one else really surprised me too much. Um, I felt like Scott Stallings had a pretty good steam. I moved him up to 11.8. He only came in at 7.8. Chris Kirk actually probably surprised me a little bit, um, coming in at almost 12%. Uh, outside of that, not too much. It was a pretty good week. I'm looking forward, you know, we continue going through this uh, fall swing. Leaderboard right now, as I'm recording, we got Connors and Damon at minus six. Both just finished their front nine, which was actually the back nine. Uh, some notables, Sung J minus four, Tagali minus four, Redmond minus three, Wolf minus three, Shank, who was somewhat popular this week, um, plus two, Augustine, who was talked up quite a bit. Um, he was only 3%, though, but plus two. And Zach Johnson, uh, I don't think he was too high on, but I heard his name. He was about 5%. He was plus three, so uh, hopefully you avoided some of those guys. The next three weeks are Shriners with Party Marty Lair defending, CJ Cup in Las Vegas, Kokrak defending, and Zozo is back in Japan. Cantley won that last year. Um, it was over here. I believe it was in Vegas as well. So they are going back to Japan in three weeks. NFL showdown. Interesting game tonight. Um, Bengals minus seven and a half. Over and under is 46. Implied score, Bengals 26.75. Jags 19.25. Josh Lambeau, the kicker for Jags, is out. His replacement is not in DraftKings, so you will not be able to get a kicker fill in there. Higgins is out, and Oshana Gazi is uh, is out as well, but we knew that. But just to note that, that's why the reason why the um, – uh, Jaguars traded for Arnold. We'll talk about that here in a second. I, I think I'm maybe I'm in a minority here, um, but I think the Jags keep this game close and have a chance to win it. They're on the road, so I don't really go all in on that. Um, I kind of agree with Vegas on the on the over under. Uh, Monday night I was strong on the over that hit. Um, how it got there was kind of weird. I you know if you'd have told me there's 62 total points, I would have thought Lamb and Smith and Coop, all these guys would have went off, but. That was not how it turned out. Some defensive scores. Uh, Schultz was big, but um, I think it's somewhere around there. It could be. I could see it going over, especially with a turnover or two, uh, and I could see it staying under. You know, in a, a slower pace, run the ball game. So, but I do like the Jags plus seven and a half would be my lean tonight. I don't know if I'm going to get to release it. I don't know if I like it that strong. Um, both teams should be able to run fairly good. Um, you know, Bengals offensive line isn't great. Jags just, you know, they're better than what I think people think. Like, I think their overall product is probably better than like the Jets and stuff right now. Um, and, and Trevor Lawrence is going to be a tremendous player at some point. He's a great talent. So um, I think he's going to continue to get better as the season goes along. Um, if he can stay away from the turnovers, that'll help. He ran a little bit last week. So I think that's a plus um, if they're letting him get, get loose a little bit there. I think, um, you know, one thing we got to watch is, is Dan Arnold going to be active and to what extent? So, I mean, you may be watching some countdown show or something, see what they say about him. I assume he'll be active because they traded for him, obviously. I just don't know, um, you know, is he going to be, he just got there Monday, right? Uh, so, there's so many passes, all the protocols and stuff, he'll be active. But if he's not for some reason or we get word that, will be limited, you know, Hollister at 1,000 becomes a potential play. Uh, with Higgins out, I think the top two that kind of could fill in there is, is Tate and Thomas. Eileen Tate, if I'm going to go there, they're both cheap, probably be a little owned as people try to stuff a cheap guy in. Um, Tate's only 400 bucks. Thomas is 600 uh, I would say both the kickers are live tonight, but Lambeau is out, so uh, McPherson is alive defenses I could see either one of these getting a touchdown I certainly would rather just pay the 3,000 for the Jaguars just because the Bengals can give up some sacks don't mind the Bengals I don't think they'll be as high owned at that price um, pretty tight pool overall like you kind of know what you get tonight especially with you know outside of figuring out if uh, Arnold's playing I mean we kind of know what everybody is, you know, who the target's going to be for the most part. Um, probably deciding captain will be a, maybe a little bit difficult. I think Mixon will be the highest owned. I don't hate Trevor Lawrence at captain tonight. Um, I don't think he'll be super high owned, although quarterbacks tend to be popular. But I think most will go, yeah, I think perception, right? Perception is the Bengals 
are going to beat them pretty handily and the Jaguars stink. Well, you know, this is a good game and a good script to kind of get off that and say, well, the Jaguars aren't as bad and they just keep it competitive. Um, certainly a guy like Marvin Jones, whether you captain him or not, that's, you know, kind of your choice, but he's seeing 23.7% of the market share, um, relatively cheap overall and, and clearly his favorite target. Although, um, I wouldn't rule out, you know, Chark and Chenault as player pull options. Um, but I think Jones is a, is a favorite there. Mixon will be, like I said, will probably be the highest on captain. You just got to make a decision. You know, do you want to pivot off of that, get some leverage? Probably depends on the kind of contest you're in. If you're doing like a big mealy maker or something, I may go a little bit different way. Um, at least mix it up depending on how many lineups you're doing. I think Tyler Boyd could be a sneaky look. Uh, my full breakdown is up on the side if you want to check out who I like and, and my reasonings behind everything. Uh, Jamar Chase is kind of the the darling right now. I love him. I think he's a great player. Um, Boyd is actually leading in the market share right now. I don't know many people would say that without looking it up. Uh, he's cheaper than Chase as well. So I think he could be um, a good little pivot at captain, certainly in the player pool. Outside of that, I mean, you got the normal, everything else is fairly normal. James Robinson, I think, is in play. I think Hyde is as, as well because I think Jacksonville will be able to run the ball and they'll look to run the ball and establish it, allow Trevor to get comfortable, um, do some play action type stuff, you know, and so Hyde, while he won't see near the carries and all that, at 1,800, I think he has a chance to pay that off. And because we got the cheap wide receivers over at the Bengals, I think he may go overlooked because people will just be like, I'd rather pay 400 bucks for Tate, you know, probably the same type of upside. But, I mean, Hyde could get a touchdown. I mean, so could Tate. I, don't get me wrong, but um, – I do think Hyde's a, a valuable, you know, potential pay down option tonight. Uh, should be a, a relatively good game. These these night games have been great so far. So hopefully we get another one. The Cowboys Eagles game was, you know, a little bit out, but I'm a Cowboys fan, so I kind of liked it. Um, hopefully we get a little bit of an entry. Good good college football game tonight too. If you want to go check that out, Bobby's already got that article up. My uh, monkey knife fix, monkey knife fight picks tonight. Use the code GUPS, G-U-P-S, deposit up to $100, get a free $100, up to $100 match. Um, you know, so deposit 20, get 20, deposit 50, get 50, 100, get 100. My two picks tonight, uh, first one is a more or less prop, 3.6 your money. I like Mixon over 17 and a half points and Marvin Jones over 14 and a half points. And then uh, kind of my little bit more of a longer shot, fun one, it is also a more or less prop. Five extra money. I like Burrow under 259.5, Lawrence over 250.5, and Boyd over five and a half catches. Um, you know, so that one pays five extra money. Put 10 bucks on both those. We can get up to 8.6x our money tonight if we go 2 and 0 on those. Um, coin flip, like I said, will be out a little bit later this afternoon. And then Ryan and I, Cup with Gup, will be out late Thursday or tonight, uh, early tomorrow morning, one of those two. Because uh, I want to get all edited up and drop it for you guys. Great feedback on that last week. We go, we're going to go through all 13 games on the main slate. Um, try to keep it about 45 minutes or less. You know, hit all the key points in the games that we like. Uh, it's a good conversation to go check out if you didn't catch it last week. The read option, college football DFS pod with Bobby Berger will be out uh, I think he's been dropping it Friday mornings, so you, no later than tomorrow morning. He may drop it tonight, depending on how his schedule look. He is a juggling kiddos right now. I think he's got three under the age of four or something like that. It's crazy. I couldn't, couldn't imagine right now. I will be back, uh, obviously, with Ryan, and then I'll be back live Sunday morning, 10 o'clock Eastern, for our premium member chat as we head to week four of NFL uh, main slate. I appreciate you guys. Um, have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you later.